Do you have a million dollars in your trading account or do you have a hundred dollars in your trading account? Are you a trend continuation trader or are you a trend reversal trader? I don't care what your answer is to either one of those questions. What I'm going to do for you over the next couple of minutes is show you how you can build a scanner to find you stocks that you want to trade. Make sure you hit like and subscribe before we get into the video and let's jump into it. We're going to be doing it on Thinkorswim. This is TD Ameritrade's. TD Ameritrade is the brokerage. This is their active trade software. And we're going to just be jumping right into it here. So I'm going to go ahead and click scan up here in the top bar. And this is obviously going to take you with a section which you scan for stocks. Now, when you're deciding what type of stocks you want to trade, you need to understand what sort of trader you are. You're not going to trade the same as me. You're not going to trade exactly the same as anybody else watching this video. Everybody trades a little bit differently. Therefore, there's no just one answer to which screener you should run. That's the point of this video. And the three things you really need to understand for determining what type of stocks you want to trade are your risk profile. So how much money are you willing to lose in each trade slash how much money are you trying to make? Because unfortunately in this game, if you want higher reward, you have to incur more risk, but everybody has a different answer to that. Some people are willing to lose 10% in a trade to try to make 20. And some people aren't willing to lose 10% in a trade. So your risk profile is the first thing you need to define. How much money you have is the second part you need to define. That's a little bit more objective. You know how much money is in your account. And the third thing is your strategy. So what we're going to do, we're going to simply create a, a scanner that implements those three metrics. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit add filter here in the top right, and we're going to hit stock. We're going to add a stock filter. That first one that I said, risk profile, the easiest way to scan for your risk aversion amount, how much money you're willing to lose, is to look at the total number of shares available on the ticker. Stocks are nothing but supply and demand. Just like the price of anything, stocks are nothing but supply and demand. So if you're more risk averse, you're probably looking to trade more volatile stocks. Therefore, you should be looking for stocks with less supply. Maybe you only look for stocks with 30 million shares you're only gonna look up to 30 million shares because you're a little bit more risk averse. Therefore, you're looking for a stock that has less shares available. Therefore, it takes less demand in the stock market world. It takes less volume to move that stock, right? So let's say we're a, a little bit more of a risk averse trader. And, and this is where the beauty of this video is gonna come in, where the value of this video is gonna come in. These parameters, these numbers here are gonna be up to you to enter for yourself. What I'm doing right here is simply giving an example. Whichever numbers I put into the scan is simply for example's sake. What you have to do from here is to decide what these numbers are. How risk averse are you? If you're not willing to lose 5 to 10% in a trade, you need to be looking for stocks that have a little bit more supply, uh, a little bit you know, higher share count. Maybe your minimum is 30 million uh, and you look that way. But we're going to run as a slightly risk, more risk averse trader, a little bit of a low float trader, if you want to call it. Second part is capital. This one's pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to add another stock filter. This one's pretty easy. For capital, we're just going to put in mark. Uh, and this is going to give you the price of the stock. If you have $100 in your account, you probably don't want to be trading stocks that are more than $20. Uh, it just doesn't make good percentage gain opportunity there to trade expensive stocks if you have a small account. Of course, if you have a more expensive account and you don't want to trade cheaper, more risk on stocks, more risk aversion stocks, you would put a higher number here. Let's say you also don't want to trade anything under a dollar. You don't want any of the super micro penny stocks to show up in this scanner as well. The third part is strategy. Now, strategy this is obviously where all the content out there on YouTube and trading comes from. I cover a lot of strategy topics on this channel, but the point of this scan is to not give you stocks that fit a specific strategy. It's to give you the types of stocks that you want to trade. So I'm say for the, we're kind of giving an example trader here. This trader wants to trade stocks that are bullish. He wants to trade stocks that are up on the day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another stock filter and we're going to add a uh, percent change. It's all the way here at the bottom. Uh, this trader is a bullish trader. He wants to trade low float, cheaper stocks that are up on the day. He's going 
going to look for stocks that have a minimum 10% uh, percent change on the day. So if I run this scan now, you can see the types of stocks that I'm getting back. You can see sorted by volume. So I now have the most active stocks on the day in order that are up at least 10%, trade no more than $20 and are less than 30 million shares available. This is risk aversion, low float trading, bullish stocks, right? That are relatively cheap. Armed is the number one example in here and has the most volume. If I go over to charts, I've actually already pulled it up. Uh, Armed that on a one minute, this is an intraday chart, has shown you really nice volatility. It's given really nice moves. It's the type of stock that this trader wants to trade. You can come in and you can do once again, I'm going to preach it one more time. Say you want to trade. I want to try. I actually want to trade more expensive stocks. I got a little bit more money. I don't really want to trade these cheap stocks and I can be a little bit, a uh, little bit less risk averse because I, I don't, I don't need to try to double my account this year. So let's go up to hundred million shares between 20 million and hundred dollars up at least 10% on the day. The number one here is SIG, Signet Jewelers. This is going to return the type of stock that that trader wants to trade a little bit less risk aversion, uh, but still a hot stock and, and one that's providing the kind of opportunities that would then go into fitting their strategy. Please don't just, you can't just, oh, well, SIG is up 10% and it fits. Uh, Trey said to go buy it. This is, <laughs> this is just returning the type of stock that this trader wants to trade. And you can see intraday, it's given really nice moves for this trader strategy to then hopefully go out and fit. But he now has a list of the type of stocks that he wants to see. And the last thing I'm going to show you all here, uh, if you ex, uh, uh, expand this kind of left column here, you should already have a watch list. If you don't, uh, there is a plus button down here in the bottom left. You can hit to add a watch list. Let's go ahead and just add a new one just so you can see that functionality. I know it's all behind my head. Adding a watch list here. Um, you know what? Let's get my big albino face out of the way. I'm going to add a watch list and oh wait, well, first things first, let's go save it. I haven't even saved this watch list yet. Uh, so to do that, we're going to click this middle kind of snowman drop down here, save, uh, save scan query. Uh, let's call this the, uh, type of stocks. This is the type of stocks that I want to trade. That's the name of this scan scan query. So now in this watch list, I can add, if I go to personal, I can go to types of stocks. Boom. This is going to return now here. I have a list. So now I can just, while I'm on my chart throughout the day, this doesn't live update. I don't remember exactly what the refresh rate is on TOS scanners. I want to say it's every three minutes. Someone in the comment section might be able to correct me on that. So this won't, the second something hits it, it won't immediately update to this, but you can start to see the list over here uh, and you can start to do the same sort of thing with this, filter it how you want it, add it how you want it as well. So that throughout your trading day, if new things light up the list, you will start to be able to pull them up and obviously hopefully find ways that they fit your strategy. So a very simple, a very, very simple scan, but it's one that's going to provide hopefully a lot of value to you. You now have a, a, a easy way that you can find the sort of stocks that you want to be trading throughout the day. Please don't just once again, use this and go, well, Trey said I should buy these stocks. No, no, I did not. And, and please don't just use these parameters either. I, I just wanted to give you the idea. You have to build out these parameters for the types of stocks you want to watch. And then you have to make sure that the stocks are fitting a back-tested proven strategy uh, throughout the day as well. But it's going to give you the right types of of stocks. And I did all that, provided all that value to you all in just a couple of minutes here today. So hopefully you did enjoy, hopefully you did get the value out of it. If you did, please take the half second, hit the like button. It actually does help. And if you're new, why not subscribe? I post content like this all the time on this channel. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one.